This is Twit. And can you uh, just give us a quick summary of exactly what uh, Apple is doing with these hospitals in terms of the trials? Absolutely. Um, so Apple first announced HealthKit at WWDC in June. Um, and since then has been making steady progress with just locking down partnerships in the health world. Um, and uh, last week at its big product launch event, Apple briefly discussed two partners at Duke University and Stanford Children's Hospital. Um, so I called up my contacts there to find out um, a little bit more about those first two medical trials and um, discovered that they both involve um, taking care of patients with chronic conditions like diabetes and allowing these patients to be able to go home um, and use um, uh, Apple enabled devices um, like an iPod touch um, and, and Apple can then uh, give that data um, or share that data with uh, the electronic health record and the doctor can view it and make more proactive decisions about, about a patient's health um, and send alerts. So it's a, it's a very interesting um, idea and we'll see in the, in the coming months how these, how these trials go. Christina, if these trials go well, do you think that um, the process will be relatively quick getting something like this through the FDA, where I assume, I assume the FDA would have to approve of any system that works with medical devices like blood monitors? Do you think Apple is ready and equipped to, to deal with that process and maybe even speed it up a little bit? Well, certainly um, Apple's in touch with the with FDA and, and we know from just looking at public calendars that they've taken meetings with key officials. But the way that HealthKit works, um, it's, it doesn't appear that it will be regulated by FDA. Um, the devices, um, the medical devices that, that would track um, a patient's blood sugar um, or uh, potentially blood pressure and other metrics, um, they are FDA approved and will build integrations with Apple's HealthKit. Um, HealthKit is merely a repository of that data where it can be viewed um, in connection with other types of data that might be relevant for a physician to get a more holistic picture of a patient's health beyond just one data stream. So that's the goal for HealthKit. It, it sort of sits in between um, various types of, of data and can be pulled together in one place. And from there, um, doctors can, can view it to make clinical decisions. Now, do you, uh, Christina, imagine a world in which uh, research centers, uh, hospitals and so on are creating their own apps to work on Apple Watch, uh, number one? And number two, can you imagine a world in which Apple behaves like any other company within the medical industrial complex, as the New England Journal of Medicine calls it, uh, and going and actually uh, marketing the Apple Watch to doctors and, and sort of imploring them and bribing them you know, with their own Apple Watches to recommend these devices to patients as a sales, uh, a sales mechanism as the pharmaceutical companies do. Um, great question. I had another piece uh, a week ago where we sort of explored the um, health use cases for the Apple Watch, and I spoke to doctors just to, to gauge their opinion on whether or not they would in, they would buy up this device. Um, I think for now it's a little bit early to say, as we're still learning um, more and more about the sort of potential implications for the watch on the medical side. Um, I think though it could be uh, used by by doctors in the in the future, um, especially versions two and three and four, which no doubt will have um, many more medical use cases and be able to track um, metrics beyond just heart rate and um, a patient's steps. Um, so, so we'll see. I, I do think that Apple um, sees this watch as potentially being, you know, both a, a consumer device as well as, you know, in the future, um, potentially even an FDA-approved mobile medical um, device. But uh, that that remains to be seen. Um, as One for thing, Apple, sort of moving. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I'm interrupt. sorry. I was just going to say. Um, I, I find the whole the monitoring part of this to be very interesting. I think mm -hmm. I actually think that it's going to be a very long time until these devices can do any the, sort of the futuristic stuff that we talk about, like blood sugar monitoring, because that's actually it's a very difficult problem to solve. Currently, any sort of skin based sensors have to go under the skin and they can't actually monitor blood. They have to monitor the fluid between your cells. It's, it's very complicated. I think it will be many, many Absolutely. years before something like a watch can do that. But what I'm wondering is if a watch could be a great alert system for a doctor, right? A way to sort of get an intercept and say there's something wrong with someone else. Or could that be sort of overwhelming to them? Um, well, when Apple announced the watch, they also announced WatchKit, which is the API. Um, so developers 
clients can use that to build their own applications that sit on top of the watch. So I've already been talking to developers who, um, you know, for instance, a company that specializes in um, medication adherence, and they send alerts um, to patients when they need to take their drugs. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, just like a reminder of sorts that it's that time of day. Um, so, you know, you could imagine a consumer wearing the Apple Watch getting an alert um, saying, hey, you know, reminder, take take your take your medication. Um, that I think that's very plausible in the first version of the watch. As for, you know, the watch um, having sensors that could potentially do this tracking on their own, like you say, that that is uh, a number of years off. Um, one of the uh, key areas that, that uh, a lot of kind of medical firms are exploring now is the potential for non-invasive um, and continuous glucose monitoring. But that is still the holy grail and we are a number of years away. Um, so for now, I think it's going to be the watch kit API that um, other developers will use to be able to um, to, to build more sophisticated monitoring tools. Well, I just hope that the com combined price of an iPhone 6 uh, Plus and the Apple Watch together don't give people heart attacks. It's going to add up to quite a big amount. <laughs> And I uh, hope uh, everybody who needs to use this sort of uh, thing can afford uh, the Apple Watch itself. Christina Farr writes at Reuters.com, and you can follow her on Twitter at Chrissy Farr with two R's at the end. I want to thank you for taking the time today, Christina. It was, I really appreciate it. Thank you.